tracking well. Request you correct to 2-9 or Nancy at checkpoint Alpha. I copy, Katiana. Correct to 2-9 or Nancy at checkpoint Alpha. Uh, shotgun. Pardon my thinking, but that's not exactly our neighborhood. Bird zero 01 to Bird zero 02. Just do what the man said. Spoken like a true milkman, Captain Shotgun. Bird zero 01, Bird zero 02. Approaching checkpoint Alpha. Execute 40 degree turn. Roger, shotgun executing four zero degree turn. Come 
on, shotgun. Let's fire some ordnance on these guys. Maintain wing to wing. We're over international waters. There's no way they're gonna attack. Yeah. Shotgun, you better be right. Cause there's one coming right up our six. Nothing more than to blow those assholes out of the sky. I, I think I can explain. But they would like nothing more than to provoke an international incident. I mean, anything to fuel their propaganda war. Sir. Our job is to deny them that opportunity. Sir, that mirage came six inches from shearing off my wingtip. De Carlo, I don't care if the guy came, knocked on your door, and asked to take your sister to a convention of hell's angels. Until he actually opens fire, we would avoid any provocative action or reaction. Captain Watkins, would you please explain to Captain DiCarlo how we do things around here? By the book, sir. By the book. Now, are we on the same frequency, Captain? Yes, sir. It's good. Now, get your sorry face out of my sight. Sir, you your attention? Not you, Captain Watkins. Sir? <laughs> Convention of Hell's Angels. Public Affairs needs a pilot to serve as the technical advisor on a movie. Look, you're the only flyer I've got on this base that I know won't embarrass the squadron. Sounds like a ground assignment, sir. Report to Major Good in the PA's office. Major? Anything wrong, Captain? No, sir. Dismissed. Here it is. All right, sweetheart. Major, excuse me, Major. This is authorization from the highest level. Whoa, you got a lot of legs there. <laughs> Go ahead, read it, read it. All right. Paul Watkins. Paul Watkins. Good old Paul Watkins. Who the hell is he? I don't know, but all I'm telling you, you help us out on this one, sweetheart, and it could really be big for you. I'm serious about that. Really, really, really big. Okay? Come in. Come in. Major? You wanted to see me? Yes, Captain Watkins. I'd like you to meet Mitchell Burton. How you doing, kid? How you doing? Put it right there. I'm Tom Slade's personal manager. How you doing? Fine. Good. Tom Slade. Tom Slade, the actor. Well, let's not push it. <laughs> but I mean, it's Tom Slade, the star, huh? The sensation. Hello. Are you uh, silent but deadly? D for danger? Lightning strikes? Lightning strikes again? Oh, these are movies. The movies, right. There's I've seen that one, I think. You think? That's good. I... Yes. There is. Let... let me. Let me tell you. He is perfect. Yes, I, it's a cute haircut, though. You know, absolutely perfect. You want to know why? Because Tom wants somebody that's not a Hollywood type. See, I mean, look at him standing there. You, I mean, come on, come on. Is this... Hold it, hold it. You ever see one of these little things? Yowie! <laughs> Hello. Tommy! Tom! Oh, whoa, whoa, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Can you hold on one second? Yeah. We got dinner tonight now at 6 o'clock. All right, 18, 1900. We're like never come <laughs> to military things. It's so, yeah, no, let me tell you something. No, I mean, this, I'm talking, you're going to love this, because I'm talking serious reality here. Yeah, OK, sure. Well, l let me explain it to you, all right? Uh -huh. What the hell was that? Tom Slade starring as a fighter pilot in his next movie. And you are going to show him the ropes. I'm not a babysitter, Lauren. Now, come on, what's this really about? I thought you'd be thrilled. You seem thrilled enough for both of us. Isn't there anything I can do to get out of this? It's just for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but, Lauren, I should be flying for those weeks. 
Please don't make me pull rank. Oh, I would never do that, Major. Actually, I'm very flattered that you uh, chose me for this assignment. Hold it, mister. I didn't ask for you to be assigned to this detail. As usual, someone upstairs is under the false impression that you're qualified. Yeah. As a pilot. You'll meet Slade at dinner tonight. And after dinner? Paul, we've been all over this. We had fun back at Subic. But I, I can't do that anymore. I, I've got to be realistic. All right, Captain? Is that an order? Let's just say it's against regulations. My regulations. Yes, sir, Major. Lauren, I hate this already. Read it this afternoon. We have dinner with Slade in the mess hall at 1800 hours. Dismissed. Truck that hit him was a blood mobile. He's late, isn't he? Yeah, maybe he won't show. Hey, hey, shotgun. Heard you guys had a close call today, huh? Missed us by at least six inches. Yeah? That means your dick had five inches to spare. <laughs> 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 he's, he's a good kid, isn't he? All right. Hey, my kid, just love Listen, you'll be glad to sign autographs. You just bring them over the table after dinner, all right? And then we'll be back. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Good, my friend. That's good. I like it. Tom, this is the man I was telling you about. Captain Paul Watkins. Captain, meet Tom Slade. I don't believe we've met, have we? <laughs> Tom Slade. Captain Paul Watkins, nice to meet you. Danny DiCarlo, they call me the snake, excuse me. Hey, I just want to say I'm a big fan of yours, and I really think you do great movies. That one, Silent But Deadly, that's one of all time. That... Oh, hang on a second, okay, watch this. Your lunch is ready, sir. Ah, <laughs> pluck. Oh, that's good. How do you guys come up with scenes like that? Are you we done? pay screenwriters to do that. Does everybody want to sit down? You want to sit down, mm -hmm. Tommy? Here we go. Come on, honey. Everybody yeah. sit. Here we go. Sir. Yeah, sit down. Uh, let's see. Can I get you something to eat? You want? Uh, what do you want? Let me. I'll surprise you. I'll tell you what. Hang on. That's a good idea. There we go. I need a chair. Honey, can I use this? Do you mind? Nice haircut. All right. Here we go. That's it. There we go. We're all sitting down. This is good. This is real good. It's good. Captain Watkins was top of his class at the academy. Then fighter weapons school at Nellis. Then Edwards, where... No, Paul. Can I call you Paul? Of course you can call him Paul. He's Paul. Paul. <laughs> I'm very excited about this part. You see, I want to get under the skin of the fighter jock mentality. You know, the machismo. The warrior ethos. Mixing up in a dogfight at 20,000 feet. Putting your life on the line every day. You know what I mean. Mm hmm I was thinking it must require such incredible dedication, such intense concentration, and that's what I need to get a handle on. You know, acting involves a lot of self-sacrifice, too. Mm. I mean, you have to triumph over your own ego in order to do the job right. See, there's a lot of ego. Uh, Mr. Slade. Tom. OK, Tom, uh, you're not allowed to smoke indoors. Regulations. Bitch. 
Uh, 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 listen, do, uh, do you have that script? Have you had a chance to? Uh, have you had? Have you had a chance to read it at all? Yes, yes, I have. So, so what'd you think? Yeah, what? Well, there are a few uh, technical inaccuracies, little problems, really. But overall, what'd you think of it overall? <laughs> um, who cares what I think? I'm not a critic, really. Mitch, and hmm? correct me if I'm wrong, but everyone is a critic. Everyone, everyone, is a, everyone is a critic. Okay. Well, you know, in the in the last scene, uh, a MIG is hit. Your hero is playing with a, a heat seeker, right? His body's riddled with bullets. The plane is going down. You know, the eject lever isn't working. And li listen to what this guy says. I'm not gonna make it. I'm going down. Tell the boys not to worry about me. I'll be flying higher than I ever flew before. Straight into the sun. That's John Wayne. Are you suggesting it's not that realistic? Supposed to have, you know, a, uh, a mythic quality. Mythic quality. Mythic. I don't think Captain Watkins is suggesting there's any. No, what would you say under those circumstances? Well, I, I guess it's okay for your movie, you know. No, what would you say, really? If I was gonna die, my jet's going down? Something more like, uh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! <laughs> right. Captain. Pardon me, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like that. I like that. Pencil that in, Mitch. Pencil that in. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. You, want, you, want me, you want me to pencil in shit, shit, shit? Yeah. Okay, you got it. Excuse me. I wasn't exactly sure what you wanted, so I just got a little bit of everything here. Thank you, Captain. Yeah, sure. Well. Oh, where was I? Uh, t Tommy. Uh, I mean, he was, when he prepared for the movie Flames of Fury, he rode in a fire truck for how long? Three, 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 three months. Three months, right. Three months. See, I deal in experiences, Paul. I find that thorough research and finding the right role model is the key. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? We should uh, we should really get going, Tom Hunter. So uh, shall we go, General? Huh? I'll lead the way. Here we go. All right. Well, Paul, it's going to be great working with you. Oh, regulations. Should be an experience. Three months. I've seen all this movie. Yeah, I wonder if it's true what they say about their comedy. I like them. It's low key, but with a quiet intensity. It's good. It's a lot younger than I expected. That's exactly what I expected. Fuck him. Fuck him. Just fuck him. Right. Hold on. Morning, Captain. Morning, sir. Listen, I just want to say what he's going to say to you, all right? No. No, let that little prick do what he wants to do, right? Huh? Yeah. Hold on. What? We really should be going, oh, sir. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm going to have to call you back. No, you're right. You're right. Fuck him. Right. Bye, Mom. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> My mom. Oh, dear. You know, I gotta ask you a favor, I really do, about uh, Tommy. You know, I, I know he's hard to take at times, but mm. he can be a real sweetheart. I mean, you'll learn to love him really well. I just don't want him to do anything too stupid. You know what I mean? I understand. You're beautiful. I love you. Hey, come on. It's a figure of speech, all right? <laughs> hey, uh, you coming to our party tonight? Huh? Yes. You got anything else to wear besides this stuff? <laughs> you know, I mean, something alive, bright, anything? Ah. You look up. Oh. Allow me. Oh. Shut up! Everything that works. Morning. What time is it? Oh, 800. 0800? You guys really talk like that? Yes. Give me a sec. Give up. Goodbye, cover for the whole Mediterranean from here. That's South Europe, North Africa, and the Persian Gulf. We fly the F-16 Falcon, which faded out the old F-4 Phantom. Morning, sir. Sir.
Wait, 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 hold it. How'd you do that? What? The salute. Is there some special thing with the number of fingers you use, like Air Force as opposed to Army or whatever? Salute. It's a salute. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Congratulations. Thanks. Listen, Paul, I need to know what it feels like to sit in one of these F 14s. 16. 16s, whatever. I'm not good with numbers. I got accountants for numbers. Can we do this? Tom, that's not so easy. I've never seen anybody get the hang of this so quickly. Don't get carried away. That was a lucky shot. Yeah? Let's we'll see what he can do then. Come on. Come on, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta bring some to get some. Come on, throw me a curve now, huh? Right. Gotcha! <laughs> I don't believe it. You know, I've always had extremely good hand-eye coordination. I mean, after all, flying these airplanes, an awful lot like uh, a high-tech video game, isn't it? Well, there's a little more to it than that. Right. You know, I think what I need to do then is to fly, to get up there and see what it's really like. <laughs> They'll never give you authorization to do that, Mr. Slade. <laughs> right. Uh, we're about to see the debriefing room and flight control. That's the F-14. F-18. Stealth fighter. Morning, Mr. Slade. Hey, you guys going up today? Uh, just a routine milk run. We're sure gonna miss you up there, Captain Shotgun. Just keep your hand on the stick. Hey, your collar, Wolf. Yeah, fix your collar, Wolf. Morning. Gentlemen. Don't forget the fighter pilot's code. When in doubt, whip it out. Take it easy up there, men. Take it easy up there, men. Take it easy. Easy up there, men. Shotgun. That was good, but we don't salute indoors. Can't do much indoors, huh? So the pattern, that's pretty common among pilots. I mean, it must release tension, you know, staying on the offensive like that, locking horns all the time, the manly banner, the double entendres, all the stuff about penises. I can use it. I can use it. Let's look at this. It's called the altitude chamber. Good morning, Sergeant. Well, hello. It's a pleasure. The sergeant can lower the air pressure and oxygen content to simulate the environment a pilot will find himself in while flying. You're a powerful young lady. You have no idea. Uh, the danger is hypoxia. Oxygen deprivation, lightheadedness, disorientation. Sounds, uh, exciting. It can be. It kills pilots. Well, can we give it a shot? You sure you want to do this now? Yeah, it'd be a good experience for the role. Okay, she's lowering the oxygen level of what we'd be breathing at 35,000 feet. What's this? It's called a hypoxia worksheet. So a bunch of simple questions. If you can't answer them, it's an indication that you're starting to be affected. And when that happens, just take a hit off the oxygen mask. Most people can't last a minute over 20,000 feet. Besides lightheadedness, other symptoms are giddiness, euphoria, visual fixations. It's like being drunk. Be careful, they come up fast. Uh, Sergeant, uh... You starting to feel you? No. <clears throat> the body starts to release pent-up gases at this pressure. I'll say. Who squeezed cheese? All right, what's your mother's name? Myra. It's oh, a simple one. How many three cent stamps in a dozen? Twelve. No fair, you've done this before. All right, here's one for you. If a rooster lays three eggs in an hour, how many does it lay in a day? Forty-eight. Seventy-two. Roosters don't lay eggs, dummy. 
<laughs> That's funny, Slay. Supposed to have started? <laughs> what are you humming? Captain, Captain, Captain. <laughs> in the circus, really? <laughs> you got beautiful tents. Oh, I like your tents. Well, we got a three-week seat in Rome, and then we're moving on to the year. Cocktails. Did I tell you that I fly just for a living? No, it's awfully dangerous work. Hey, keep it up with that one. Why do you invite us here? Oh, maybe he's just a nice guy. Oh, so you like him now? Who wouldn't? Besides, what do you care? What do you mean, Lauren? Nothing's changed, Paul. <laughs> what needs to change? Your priorities. There are only three things that are important to you. Your planes, your buddies, your planes. I don't play third string. Lauren, Paul, so glad you could make it. Hi. Didn't think I was gonna kiss you, did you, Paul? <laughs> Let me get a look at you two, huh? You look great. Well, I guess all this merrymaking must seem like a big waste of time to you, right, Paul? I'm sure you got more important things on your mind, huh? Well, she looks like she's ready to dance, shall we? Absolutely. Too tight. You need to learn how to relax. I mean, remember the fighter pilot's code. Screw the rules. There are more important things in life. You know what it is that really gets me about Slade? He's good at everything. You know, he doesn't even have to try. So we get out of here, huh? Uh, hey, have you seen Lauren? Oh, that was a wonderful party. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. People like Slade should be set on fire. You know, I can't even hate the guy because he doesn't know how much of an asshole he is. I'd love to just see him lose once, you know what I mean? Say, uh, thank you. Gracias. Thanks. So, 
How are you and Paul getting along? Great. I mean, uh, the guy's no intellectual heavyweight, but I'm learning a lot. You know, it's so refreshing to be with someone who's obviously never been in therapy. Look, maybe I better go. I no, no, no. get some sleep. Well, it's late and I... No problem. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Good night. Paul, you're early, aren't you? 0800 already? Okay, give me a sec. Hey, shotgun, check it out. Got my silver bars. What's that mean? Promotional lieutenant. I want you to put them on me. No? For luck. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thanks, Shaka. So this nickname of yours? Call sign. Right, Shaka. Now, what does that mean? Nothing, just uh, all pilots have them. What I mean is, that, does it have a sexual connotation, or are you just a really good shot? I mean, do you have a bad temper, or what is it? No, it's nothing like that. <laughs> well, Paul, you know, I think I'm really starting to feel my way into this character. Like when he's in his plane, he's king of the mountain, top dog. But down on the ground, he's kind of repressed. He's kind of a lame-o, kind of a stiff. All right, listen, Mr. Slade. Tom. I set up some combat films for you to watch. I think you'll find them very interesting, OK? Actually, I was thinking I ought to experience more of the routine day-to-day -day stuff, you know? Pilot for a day. You know, I want to get a sense of the reality, the existential qualities. I think that can be arranged, Tom. <sighs> 
No, 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 no. Marine style, Tom. What does that mean? Clap your hands between each push-up. All right. <coughs> Behind your head. What? It's the way pilots do it, Tom. Come on, you can do it. Make the effort. Give it a try. Go ahead. <coughs> you want to be a pilot? Captain Watkins! Give me a moment, Tom, okay? Keep trying. What is this, Captain? We're almost done, Major. Next, I'm gonna show him how to endure interrogation behind enemy lines. You know, the electrodes to the... What the hell do you think you're doing? What the hell were you doing, Lauren, huh? I don't have to explain myself to you, Captain. Oh, of course not. After all, how often will you get a chance to sleep with a movie star? <sighs> I'm not gonna talk about this. Look, I came to tell you, Slade somehow got authorization to fly. Lauren, taking Slade in a jet is not a good idea. Well, I think I'm getting it. Hey, Lauren, how you doing? Good news, Tom, old pal. Looks like we're going flying. Oh, beautiful, that's what I've been waiting for. I just have to work out a few things. Look, Lauren, I know I can count on you, right, honey? I'll check with flight operations. She's a beautiful individual. What a pleasure to work with, huh? Hey, Paul, I've been picking up some negative vibes from you today. Is there something bothering you? What gave you that idea, Tom? Well, it's just that I'm good at reading people. That's what I'm good at, you know? I just wish you'd open up a bit more, share some things with me, maybe. Tom, I think we're sharing plenty, OK? Let me ask you something. Why do they call him Shotgun? <laughs> you about ready there, Tom? 10.30. Let's do it, Snake. Don't puke in your oxygen mask. That's the fighter pilot's code. What's that for? Never know, Tom. Don't worry, I'll bring him back one piece, Major. No, I was out of line. Your life is your business, and hey, I probably would have done the same thing in your place, maybe. Oh, nothing happened. It's okay, Major. It's a beauty, huh? <laughs> oh, boy, you're gonna love this, Mr. Slade. Backseat, backseat. Forgot your helmet, Mr. Slade. Thank you. G-suit on the left, oxygen on the right, gum. Is it sugarless? Keeps your ears from exploding. Cool. Strap in. Advised you have traffic 
five miles north of you at three zero thousand. You have flown before, Mr. Slade. Hundreds of times. Good, the takeoff won't bother you. Check. Take off. It burns a buttload of fuel, but it feels great, huh? Are you kidding? There's nothing to it. We got dual controls. I won't let you get us killed. It's just like the simulator, Mr. Slade. I'll activate your controls. Go easy. Little moves, okay? Against the rules, you can't take me into combat. I'll tell them you followed me. Put on your mask. Damn it, this is insane. The insurance company will freak out. You can't do this. Incoming. Incoming. Has he ever been in combat before? No. 
for a dance. I'll lock and load on number two. You take number one for a ride. Over. Chicken bastards. Contact with uh, bogeys of Papa Juliet hit here and went down right here. Now you said you saw shoots. Two of them. And one's a civilian. A goddamn movie star. Sergeant let her in. Major, I want a total media blackout. This stuff leaks out. Pentagon's gonna go ape shit. You know, Watkins better hope to hell that the pirates get to him before I do. Tom Slade should never have been in that plane. This is all my fault. 
Major Good, remember, if Shotgun didn't show up, I wouldn't be here right now. Carlo? Sir. This is hotter than Palm Springs. If I don't get some sunscreen soon, my skin is definitely gonna turn to leather. Come on. We gotta get moving. The friendly should be over that hill. Wow. Such a nice plane. Well, plenty more where that came from. Tax dollars are working all. Man, I could use a beer. Nice, tall, cold, frosty, icy. Hey, listen to me. Try and concentrate. Um, We've been shot down. We're in the middle of a desert um, in a hostile country. We have no radio, maybe 24 hours worth of water. We've got to focus all our efforts on survival, OK? Damn it, my hairline's receding. We got to get started. What about a rescue? I mean, if we move, how are they going to find us? I'm not really counting on a rescue. This government has been openly hostile. Last month, they declared their airspace extended 200 miles. That's what the dogfight was all about. Got to figure we're pretty much on our own, Slate. Oh, beautiful. We're stranded here because of some stupid international piss war? I mean, this is so juvenile. Hey! My friend is dead. Look, don't blame yourself. You did all you could. Did I? I don't think so. Enta Akid la Merican, Gatale tu? Erpachequa lil Oman, el Motahed. Roet el Miazolin. Lesh Megatantan. Anna has this. You can miss the meal. How far is the border? Sixty, maybe seventy miles. Sixty, maybe seventy miles. Well, that's great. That is just great. You know, I've really been trying to be a good sport with you. Sure, I make more in a week than you'll see in your entire life, but that's beside the point. The point is, I was trying to make an effort to ignore all the crap you dish out. Oh, I knew what you were doing. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to go alone. And so what happens? You treat me like I'm in boot camp, you fly me into the middle of a war, and now I'm gonna die like an extra in Lawrence of Arabia. Ha! 
Let's just walk, okay? No, because I've been getting a strong sound treatment from you all along. I want to know what you're thinking. You don't want to know what yes, I'm I thinking. Yes, I do. It's time you level with me. We both... I hate your guts, Slate, okay? Okay. That's a start. You and your touchy-feely crap. You are so completely full of shit. You want to get inside my head, understand me, be my friend. People like you, thank you. I mean it. Thank you. Come here. Thank you. Get away from me. Now you see, that wall of armor you built around your feelings, you're finally letting in a little light. But don't let yourself go all now. Get in touch with the inner child. You're really weird, Slade. Well, you just walk into a person's life, screw everything up, and then you... You hug them! Oh, now this has to do with Lauren, doesn't it? Okay, I see now. See, I didn't know you two were an item. Well, you're not an item. You're obviously an no, item. No, you're not. You're an item! You're not an item! We just get stationed together, that's all. She wants to make it more. But I'm a pilot. I've got to make flying my... my priority. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What am I talking to you about this for? This is insane. No, this is good. This is good. This is good! because I feel like we're finally starting to communicate. It's beautiful! Hey! Hey! Hey, over here! Hey! Slade, no! Hey, hey, over here! Slade, hey. no! No! I said, Lord, give me good! Get out of the enemy! They're your enemy! They look fine to me! Stay down! I said, let me go! <clears throat> Hey! You want to die, don't you? You'd rather die of thirst than ask for help from the so-called enemy. Let me tell you something, I don't have any enemies. And you're not taking me with you. Those guys torture people to death for a living, Slade. You know what? You're the one who's full of shit, buddy. Where are you going? Away from you. Yeah? That's the wrong way. Oh, yeah? Drop dead. Slade, wait! Take some water. That way I can tell everybody I tried to keep you alive. Oh, that's beautiful! I'm touched! Thing. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer in the animal play. There's seldom fur, scoop and fur, and the deer in the animal play.
You don't understand. I'm not a soldier. I'm an actor. Very rich. I'll pay you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please. Please. Ta, ta, ta. Akhrat. Ta, ta. Shoo. Fi khulus bi jizdan. Mal ruh nus bi nus ana wiyak. Shura yak. Bedouin. You American? That's right. We had trouble with our plane. But if you'll take us to the border, we'll make sure you're rewarded for your kindness. <laughs> yes, yes. We can do that. Come, come. Come on. Look at it. Style. And this little girl walk a country mile to find her a good old slow talking country boy. I said a country boy. American cowboy. I'm so fashionless I can be, and I hope you like what you see. If you're, if you're looking, looking at, at, me, at me, you're looking at country. You're looking at country. <laughs> You, but these guys make me nervous. By the way, my real name's Greenbound. No one's supposed to know that. Don't worry, Slade. I'll take you to my grave. You mind if I bump one of those? Thank you. I don't think I like where they're taking us.
Doesn't look like the U.S. Embassy. Agile. We start? Kefaya. Ache. Coffee. Thank you. Your lunch is ready, sir. <gasps> Your lunch is ready, sir. Commandant! Commandant! Uh, Salam Adeli! Lightning strikes! Flames of fury! Chem on Oh, my God! Tom Slave. <laughs> But this is absurd. An American film star. Miss <laughs> Kefe! Miss Kefe! Etla. Look, I need a shower and I need to make a phone call, all right? Slade. I need to call my manager. Shut up, Slade. You might have to use your phone. You and your pilot friend are in very serious trouble. Sign drag. You're an American. Can you help me get out of here? Perhaps if you uh, record a statement for him. You're a goddamn mercenary, you son of a bitch! You killed Wolf! Did you know that? I guess all that expensive Air Force training really paid off, huh? <laughs> but that Emmelman move, man. <laughs> that went out with disco. I saw that coming way before I put the bullets into you. You got lucky, you bastard. Lucky? Luck is just a lack of fear. You seem like um, the kind of guy who flies with one hand on the ejection lever. You can never win if you're afraid to die. How can you fly for them, huh? Well, everyone's got to make a living, you know? It pays a hell of a lot better than Uncle Sam, I can tell you that. No urine test, no one gives you a hassle for buzzing the tower. And they, uh, they have this bug up their ass about uh, this 2020 vision thing, you know? You're a traitor. Oh, please, look, you gotta get over this flag waving business. To me, it's all one world. And I just wanna fly, man. <sighs> Listen, um, I'm genuinely sorry about the way they're treating you. Pilot should die in the air, am I right? But this torture shit, it's uh... <laughs> Sorry, pal. I'm out of here. Peace, huh?
No, I don't know about this. It's simple. You speak the words. It's what you do for a living, is it not, Mr. Smith? Yeah, but come on. I see now that the American imperialist regime must assist crushing innocent, struggling nations under its iron shoe. I mean, who writes this shit? It's just not working for me. You mind if we go with boot instead of shoe? <clears throat> okay, I can take direction. Speak the words. This is Tom Slade. Don't do it, Slade! Once again. This is Tom Slade. I'm here my own free will. I have a very important message for the leaders of the United States and the peoples of the world. You guys ought to nuke this fucking place off the map! Mr. Slade, I suggest you take this seriously for the sake of your friend. Slade, don't! I see now that the American imperialist regime must assist crushing innocent, struggling nations under its iron shoe. This is terrible. I mean, this is really terrible. I mean, this is going to kill his career. You don't have to worry about that, Mr. Burton. Everyone will know it's fake. I'm talking about his reading. I begged the kid, I begged him, I said, please, don't give up acting lessons. Whatever you do, don't give up acting. What does he do? He wants to trust his instincts, instincts. What is that? I mean, did you see his hair? Huh? And the lighting, that shirt? He How looked a mess. How do you think they managed to coerce Tom Slade? Threatening to take away his gold card works for me. You think he's shotgun? It's like they're gonna blow your little base right off the map. <sighs> Cable news. What would we do without it, huh? So, um, what do you figure? A couple squadrons of F 16s for cover, take out the runway. Maybe a couple F 111s, drop a few thousand pounders, just for good measure, you know? It's gonna be a hell of a party. I can't wait. quite how to tell you this, uh, Paul, but uh, they're going to execute you at dawn as soon as they get more tape for their camera. Listen, I, um, I did all I could do. It ain't over till it's over. But if you're thinking about a rescue mission, it won't work. See, there's only one approach, and that's through the Northern Valley. And they just put some brand new Sams right in their path. So, all those fine, young Nellis graduates who are gonna get their stupid asses blown right out of the sky. Capiche?
We are here to rescue you. My friend Watkins, he's in the prison that way. Come on. What about my friend? Fair. He is worth nothing. Where are you taking me? The Commandant is not deep fair. We sell you a game, this time to American movie company. They pay top dollar. What? Hey, guys, you guys, you can say you're making a big mistake. Peter Watkins comes from a very important family. He's... Can I, wait, can I, sir, wait.
Et non, mais vite King, huh? Look, I told him you the heir to the Watkins tobacco fortune. It's called improvisation. If they catch us, you owe them about 50 million. At least you didn't promise them anything stupid. not getting into another plane with you. It's the only way out of here, Slade. Because of your flying that I'm here. OK, fine, stay. Fine, 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 fine. over there? Just shut up. Your leg. What? 
I said move your leg. Are you sitting on anything that might be a bomb release? I think so. Is that it? Is that it? Whoa! Let me do it. Fine, do it, do it. You know, your upper lip really perspires when you're nervous. Get ready. Okay. Ready. What, now? No. What? Not now. ready for us. this game till we run out of gas. What do you say we just get it over with, huh? Well, what do you suggest? Let's see who's lucky and who's afraid. Game yeah, chicken, huh?
you had your hand on Ejig, Dragon. Well, well, well. Looks like we finally got a little company, boys. Could be decoys. Two and three stay on target. Snake is in pursuit. Damn it. They're friendly and he doesn't recognize us. You mean we're being chased by our own guys? Yes. Don't you think it'd be kind of ironic to get killed by... Shut up, Slade! It's time to face Mecca, Pilgrim. Katiana Control, this is Black Flag Leader. I uh, think I have a visual sighting on the hostages going down in the Gulf. Well, you just let me see. Then what? You gotta get us out of this. What are we gonna do? They're out. We're free for. What? It's the only way, Slade. We've been pretty close up here now, buddy, so it's as good a time as any to tell you that you've gone completely insane! Paul! Shotgun! Shotgun! Oh, no. All right, Greenbaum, get a grip! Get a grip! Ah! Damn you, Shotgun! Tell me what to do! The bell. Uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, uh, ah! The thing that bothers me the most is that I didn't have a chance to say I'm sorry. That I was the one that shot down my best friend. So now, shotgun, I am sorry that I was the one that shot you down. But it was me, and it was an enemy aircraft. So if you just sign right here as an observer, I'll get credit for the kill. More than I'm an ace. You two are lucky to be alive. Luck? Luck had nothing to do with it. I knew what I was doing the whole time. You see, burning an aircraft and blowing the canopy, although a highly dangerous move, is a proven injection technique. You're lucky we were over the water. Lucky he didn't just fall out and leave you strapped in. <laughs> I'm just glad to be here. Where are we going? Useless. Well, I'm gonna get out on the uh, flight deck. Ah! You kids, uh, don't forget the fighter pilot's code. And if you do forget, name him after me. Good luck. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is a beautiful moment. I can use this. Thank you both. Tom, Tom shut, shut up. up. I mean, really, it's like life itself. Just a bunch of beautiful moments strung together, don't you think? What I mean to say is, it's about intimacy, love, two people who want to be together and touch. It's about pitching a tent and... Kids? Kids? Whew, it's getting hot in here. Nurse, cold shower, cold shower. Nurse, 